Hi guys. Last night I spent some time trying to turn this, um, I'm not quite sure what it is, it's part of my daughter's dishwasher. I thought it was a motor but I think it might be a um, flow meter of some sort, something like that. Either way, um, it lights an LED quite nicely but it doesn't really work as a dynamo or a generator. So I'm going to put that to one side for a minute and modify this. Picked this up in a charity shop for a pound um, last year sometime. Looking at the writing on it, it does actually say McDonald's, so I'm guessing this was a freebie or something at a McDonald's restaurant. Either way, it's got a good bit of gearing in there to drive a fan on the front here. So what I intend to do is take the fan off, choose one of my small electric motors, that one looks like a good start, stick that straight on the shaft, run a couple of wires off the back of it, and see if that's enough to drive a little car along. So that's tonight's project. Take this apart, take the fan off, glue that on the front, and see if we can get some power out of it. Alright, that's the insides. So we've got a nice bit of gearing there. What I need to do is get this fan blade off and see if I can just attach the motor straight on. Right, this is a bit of insulation off a bit of power cable. So I'll cut a, cut a short length, slide it over there and that should join the two together for us. A simple plan, I'll use a CD, hot glue the motor right in the middle, and then hot glue the CD onto the front. So that all lines up like that. I haven't hot glued it in place yet, but I've temporarily connected it up to this. Uh, this is one of my solar powered cars that I made the other day. I've taken the solar panel off and just connected the wires directly to the motor. So it looks like we have success. So what I'll do is get some nice lightweight wire, probably some headphones wire or something, and link it directly together and then we'll go and try it. Okay guys, all up together, we're down in my kitchen, so we'll give it a test run. That looks like that works to me. I can't really run up and down the kitchen with it though because I can't hold the camera and turn the generator at the same time. So you'll have to make do with just a short run. But that's a success. So what have we got? We've got a fan unit, a hand turned fan toy that I got from the bargain store for a pound. It's actually got McDonald's written on it, so I'm guessing it was a free gift or something from McDonald's. I've taken the fan off it and just stuck an ordinary electric motor on the front, connected straight through to the shaft. Used a CD just to mount it in the middle. The bit of wire is actually off of a mouse, an old mouse. Um, and this is a, well it was, a solar powered car that I made a while ago with a small motor, worm gear, onto the back axle. I'll put a link in to the solar powered car so you can see the original build for that. But I'm quite pleased with that. That works. Certainly works better than the other thing I was trying to do with the uh, unit salvaged out of the dishwasher. So 
there we go. A dynamo-driven electric car.